while ago I posted a video with simple LED projects. One of the, them was to control five LEDs with a potentiometer. In this project I came across a problem. One of the LEDs would not cooperate for unknown reason. I thought I had set up everything perfectly. The potentiometer was connected to pin A6. Five LEDs were connected to pins 2 through 6. I used Arduino map function to take the value range of a potentiometer, which in normal circumstances is from 0 to 1023, and map it to LED pin number range, which is from 2 to 6. This way, we were able to determine which LED should be lit corresponding to the current potentiometer position. And yet something was not working as expected. I ultimately fixed the problem. It was easy. But I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to create a video showing how you can use serial monitor to troubleshoot your Arduino sketches. Every Arduino board supports serial communication e.g. for Arduino Nano, which we are using here in, in this video, we can communicate with serial monitor on your computer via USB connection, but also uh, you can connect via digital pins 0 and 1 if you're using some external serial monitor. Those pins are dedicated for this and should not be used for any other purpose. So for instance, you cannot really do digital read, digital write actions on those pins. To use serial communication, you have to open serial port in your program. This is done using a serial begin statement. Then, using print function, you can send to the serial monitor any information you want to trace in your program. Arduino IDE has built-in serial monitor to communicate with an Arduino board. You can access it by clicking the icon in the top right corner of your sketch window. You have to make sure you're using the same baud rate uh, in serial begin statement as the one used in the serial monitor on your PC, which is 9600. When your sketch is running, you would see information you sent to a serial port in the serial monitor window. Let's open the serial port in our code and print the potentiometer value to observe how it changes. We send the sketch to our Arduino board and open the serial monitor. You see the potentiometer state values on the screen changing in real time. There is a new value output with each loop function execution, so hundreds in one second. Sometimes you want to slow uh, this down and this is where you can use delay statement. Here we introduce 400 milliseconds delay in each loop function run. As you can see the values on pin A6 are read less frequently. Straight away I can see that there is a problem with potentiometer range. It should be 0 to 1023 and here it is more like 25 to 1018. We can now make information we send to the serial port more complex, adding more values and text descriptions. We can see that the highest red potentiometer value, 1018, is mapped to 5. And that means pin 6 is never selected and our last LED is always off. In the original video I fixed the problem by mapping potentiometer value to range 2 to 7. This worked, but this is not the best solution. If by any chance 
potentiometer shows values beyond 1018, then value 7 may be mapped and will be sending high signal to the pin that is not in use. So I decided to fix the problem by adjusting values read from analog pin 6. For reads below 40, we hard code a potentiometer read to 0 and for reads larger than 990, we hard code it to 1023. For this purpose, we wrote a custom function, adjust analog read, that does just that. Then, when we send the result to the map function, we get proper mapping. Ok, so mission accomplished, everything works now as expected, and the bonus is that we have learned how to make Serial Monitor a useful tool in program troubleshooting. Also, it is giving you an opportunity to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to get notified when I post similar stuff in the future. I will hopefully see you soon.